the last four decades. My Lords, ever since the announcement was made, we've been hearing about all these rare cultural gems that are made possible by the unique way in which Channel 4 is financed, which somehow wouldn't be possible in a red in, in tooth and claw jungle capitalism. So I've just been looking at what the programming is now, and with your permission, I'll, I'll tell the House. It's Kitchen Nightmares, Undercover Boss, Steph's Packed Lunch, Countdown, A Place in the Sun, A New Life in the Sun, Sun, Sea, and Selling Houses. Is it really credible? to say that we are defending something that could not be provided by the, public, uh, by the private sector. Will my noble friend, the Minister, comment on the disparity between the, the funds that come from the private sector to independent production companies and those that come from state broadcasters? Uh, well, I, I, will, I, I won't join my noble friend in uh, singling out particular programmes, De Gustavus Nunes Disputandum and all that. Uh, this is not about uh, the content that Channel uh, 4 uh, currently uh, um, produces or about its recent results. It's about making sure that it is uh, able uh, in the decades to come to compete, to invest and to continue to pro provide a range of programming uh, which a range of people can benefit from.